Hey, it's Papa. We've been talking about sedimentary rocks that contain mostly quartz. And uh, I want to talk about a rock type called conglomerate. Now, what is conglomerate? Um, conglomerate is a rock that contains mostly sand particles, but embedded in that sand are larger hunks of quartz. Mostly quartz. It could be other stuff, but it's mostly quartz. And the important thing is those larger particles are rounded smooth. What does that tell you? That tells you water's involved. That's right. So you, when you see conglomerate, which is sandstone matrix with bigger smooth stones embedded in it, you know you're looking at a river. The smooth stones go down to the bottom. So if you see a, a piece of conglomerate and all the smooth stones are all together in one spot, you know that was the bottom of the river. So that's pretty cool. You can learn a lot just from looking at it. Rounded off versus angular tells you water. And if there's a layer of the rounded off pebbles that are, are concentrated, you know that, that was the bottom. So this conglomerate... I'm not sure where it came from, to tell you the honest truth. I think it came from the uh, Cumberland Plateau, the Allegheny Plateau. Here's another conglomerate. Look at the size of, of these uh, particles, these clasts of rock. Pretty big, huh? But they're smooth, right? So you've got a matrix of sandstone, and you've got uh, big, smooth pebbles of mostly quartz embedded in that that's a conglomerate that tells you that you're looking at an ancient river course okay now let's look at another another kind of conglomerate okay we got the same thing a matrix of sandstone and well, you know there's some potassium feldspar in here too you could call this mud but and you've got other particle rock particles in here but they're more angular see these see the angularness of these particles see how angular that one is they're not smooth this tells you you're not looking at a river you're not looking at a river and if you looked at this it'd be hard you couldn't tell where the bottom or the top is because uh, the big particles are all mixed up in there and this is called what I call turbidite sandstone and this kind of sandstone forms where you have, um, let's say the continent is a continent is rifting apart like Rodinia did. You get a big rift in the earth where it's being stretched. That forms a deep valley like the uh, Great Rift Valley in Africa that goes all the way through Kenya up into Israel. The, whole, the Dead Sea is in the middle of a deep rifting basin. The Jordan River follows that same basin. And um, you get volcanic eruptions, but... You also get uh, water washing huge volumes of material down into that basin. They call those basins grobbins, rift grobbins or rift basins. The, the earth stretches and pops and draws apart, and you've, you've got these big, big basins, these grobbins, and this water uh, laden with all kinds of mixed-up material floods in quickly. Uh, uh, the 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 big hunks don't have time. They don't spend enough time in a river situation to get rounded. They're just they're just thrown into that grub and all mixed up. And that's what that's why they call turbidite means disturbed or turbidity currents. So and you get those in rift grubbins. This came from the Great Smoky Mountains National Park area, not in the park itself because you can't pick those rocks. And it is from a, a rift grub and um, they call this the Great Smoky Group. Thunderhead sandstone, or thun, I call it turbidite sandstone, just to distinguish it from regular sandstone and conglomerate. Okay. You can also get this turbidite sandstone. Uh, you, you do get it um, out in the ocean. Uh, away from the land, you have the continental shelf, which is, which is the s shallow... Uh, gently sloping area that goes from the beach out toward the ocean. Then you have a steep drop where the where the land crust meets the ocean crust, which is down deeper, and that's called the continental slope. And at the base of that slope, you get big piles of this this tur turbidite sandstone. Another name for this rock is gray wacky. That's a waggy name, gray wacky. So um, you can call this 
Some people call it sandstone. I call it turbidite sandstone. You can also call it gray wacky. The main thing is that um, since it fell into water, it's not going to be red. Any All the iron that's in it has not been oxidized out. It fell underwater really quick, so it's going to be gray matrix, and it's going to have hunks, quartz, and fel potassium feldspar hunks embedded in it that are angular instead of with the conglomerate where they're smooth and rounded off. Conglomerate means a river. Turbidite sandstone or gray wacky means a uh, either a rift basin or graben or the continental slope, base of the continental slope. Okay, next time we'll talk about regular old sandstone. Pop out.